Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. December 3rd marks a couple of important climate anniversaries. 50 years ago today, on December 3rd, 1972, 42 top American and European investigators met at Brown University. They wrote a letter to President Nixon which said, The present rate of the cooling seems fast enough to bring glacial temperatures in about a century. So if they were correct, we are halfway to the new ice age. Two years earlier, the New York Times wrote this article, U.S. and Soviet Press Studies of a Colder Arctic. The United States and the Soviet Union are mounting large-scale investigations to determine why the Arctic climate is becoming more frigid, why parts of the Arctic sea ice have recently become ominously thicker, and whether the extent of that ice cover contributes to the onset of ice ages. Science News had a beautiful drawing of glaciers plowing through downtown Manhattan. The National Academy of Sciences showed temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere plummeting since 1938. The National Center for Atmospheric Research showed temperatures plummeting since the early 1940s. National Geographic showed temperatures plummeting since the peak in 1938. Everyone agreed at the time that temperatures were very cold during the 1970s. Now let's go back 100 years to December 3, 1922. The Arctic was melting very quickly. There was a radical change in climatic conditions in the Arctic with hitherto unheard of high temperatures on that part of the Earth's surface. Many of the old landmarks are greatly altered or no longer exist. Where formerly there were great masses of ice, these have melted away, leaving behind them accumulations of earth and stones, such as geologists call moraines. At many points where glaciers extended far into the sea half a dozen years ago, they have now entirely disappeared. During the winter of 1921-1922, no sea ice formed around Spitsbergen during the entire winter. But this past winter, there was lots of sea ice around Spitsbergen. In 1923, the glaciers in Glacier National Park were melting so quickly, experts predicted they would be gone within 25 years. The glaciers in Glacier National Park retreated very quickly from 1850 to 1950, but then the retreat greatly slowed down. However, over the last 30 years, satellite imagery shows that the glaciers in Glacier National Park have been growing. 100 years ago, the glaciers were rapidly retreating, but now they're growing. Dr. Hans Allman documented how the glaciers in Norway rapidly retreated from 1869 to 1933. In 1939, he reported that all the glaciers in eastern Greenland were rapidly melting it may without exaggeration be said that the glaciers of Greenland, like those in Norway, face the possibility of a catastrophic collapse. The behavior of ice tells us that 100 years ago, Earth had to have been very warm. Explorer Stephenson reported in 1922 that the ice between the North Pole and Alaska was young, thin, moving, rotten ice. 100 years ago in November 1922, the U.S. Weather Bureau reported a radical change in climatic conditions in the Arctic and hitherto unheard of high temperatures in that part of the Earth's surface. But 50 years later, the climate had changed dramatically. The Guardian reported, space satellites show new ice age coming fast. Climatologists reported that the Earth's snow and ice cover increased by 12% from 1967 to 1972. In 1989, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration reported that Earth cooled from 1921 to 1979. But something strange has happened at the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration since 1989. They've altered their data. Now they show almost 0 0.4 degrees Celsius warming from 1921 to 1979. We know that around 1921, the world's ice was melting very rapidly, and we know that during the 1970s, the Earth's ice extent was increasing. So according to the U.S. government, ice melts when temperatures are very cold, and ice forms when temperatures are much warmer. The New York Times reported in 1978, International team of specialists finds no end in sight to 30-year cooling trend in Northern Hemisphere. 
Temperatures in Iceland showed this cooling trend. It was very warm there around 1940 and very cold around 1979. The behavior of the Arctic and the behavior of glaciers tells us that Earth was very warm from about 1920 through the 1950s. This warmth around 1940 was confirmed for the Northern Hemisphere in the 1998 temperature reconstruction of Breffa and Jones. Their temperature reconstruction showed that the 1930s and 1940s were the warmest decades of the last 700 years and that temperatures cooled dramatically after that into the 1970s. Briffa's graph showed the decline in temperatures which was also seen in the ice records of the Earth. Briffa's graph also showed what the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration reported in 1989 that Earth cooled from 1921 to 1979. But that story didn't suit the political agenda of the United Nations, so instead of using Briffa's accurate reconstruction, they chose to use Michael Mann's wildly fraudulent hockey stick. If we were to believe Michael Mann's hockey stick, we'd also have to believe that ice melts when temperatures are very cold and ice grows when temperatures are much warmer. Toto knows that ice doesn't lie, but climate scientists do. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, Caesar, Toki, Upala, and the four new puppies at realclimatescience.com.